Yo, what's going on, uh, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Warzone, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the brand new Street Sweeper Shotgun. This is a lot of fun to use. A lot of people thought this was going to be the new meta in, in Warzone, and I really want you guys to know uh, from me and, and just say that this is not the new meta. I know a lot of YouTubers are going to make videos saying this is the new meta. It's going to be the only gun you can use, and it is not. It is a really, really good shotgun but it is not something that is completely broken that every single player is going to be running around using however it does take a little bit of time to unlock so if you don't have black ops cold war uh, you might not get this thing pretty quick but uh, nonetheless fun shotgun to use uh, what you guys are watching right now is just some gameplay to be demonstrate what this specific class setup is going to play like in a game of plunder just so you guys can get an idea of this weapon before you actually throw these attachments on uh, for yourself so hopefully you guys enjoy this video so let's jump into the attachments so if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using. The muzzle that we're using is the Agency Choke. Uh, this is basically the Agency Suppressor for the shotgun. You guys will see you're getting sound suppression as well as damage range and a nice boost to accuracy and control here. Uh, so obviously that Agency uh, Choke is one of the best ways to go here. The barrel that we're using is the 13 inch reinforced heavy. Now a lot of people like bouncing back and forth between some of these barrels. I've tried them all personally. I think the 13 inch reinforced heavy is the best way to go because you're getting the effective damage range. So it's helping you from a little bit more distance. You're gaining range with that. And you're also getting a faster fire rate. So uh, with some of the other attachments, specifically the task force, it shows that you're getting a boost to damage. And you would think uh, that you're gonna do really, really well by getting that damage boost, except you're losing your damage range. So all Though, if you're four inches away from somebody, you're probably going to hit them a little bit harder. Uh, if you're a couple feet away, you're going to end up losing damage. So the task force is not really the best way to go here and why I decided to pick that 13 inch reinforced heavy barrel. Now the laser that we're using is the SWAT 5MW laser sight. Obviously this is essentially the same thing as the steady aim laser, giving you that hip fire accuracy. With the SWAT 5MW, you're getting a little bit more. Uh, and the only con here is aim down sight speed, which is obviously not a big deal with this shotgun, since most of your gunfights are gonna be probably uh, spray and pray. So uh, the SWAT 5MW laser is the best laser to rock with here. Now we're not going to be using a, a, an optic here, obviously it's a shotgun, not really worth having on. The stock that we're using is the wire stock. With a lot of the older shotguns, specifically the modern warfare shotguns, the no stock was a great way to go. However, here with these Cold War weapons, you're losing significant hip fire accuracy here, obviously dropping off your accuracy. So uh, it's definitely worth rocking with the wire stock because you're getting sprint to fire time, which is going to be important with a shotgun, especially with those close range gunfight situations. And you're not losing anything, so you're basically just getting a really nice boost to mobility here so again the wire stock stock and last but not least the ammunition that we're using is the stagnant 18 round mag now i'm sure most of you guys have had time to experience this shotgun it does take a very very long time to reload regardless of the ammunition that you're running so the 18 round mag is definitely the best way to go just because you're having the max amount of shells possible to shoot without having to reload um, you can honestly take out an entire squad with 18 shots of this thing if you're playing quads so it's really not necessary to, to to have to run something else. The stagnant 18 round works perfect. And you can always reload once the squad is dead or when you're running around just killing time. So again, that stagnant 18 round mag ammunition. But I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific Street Sweeper class setup. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific build, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.